Hi friends, today I am going to show you a demo on one of the latest features in Catalon Studio that is Time Capsule. So I will show you a demo and before that uh, this feature is available only in Catalon Studio version 7.8 and later. So as of now, at the time of recording this video, the latest version is 7.8 and this is a feature that can help you to fix your broken objects. So whenever you run your test cases on a web UI, in case there is a failure due to a broken object locator, you can very quickly bring up the application at the time of the failure, the state of the application at the time of the failure and you can check the object locators and get a new object locator and fix your object locators. So it works only on web UI browsers. So it is only for web UI testing. And as of now, it works only on the Chrome browser. So let's quickly see a demo. I'm on my Catalon Studio version 7.8. And as of now, I have an enterprise edition, but this feature works on the free edition of Catalon Studio as well. So here, I will very quickly record a new test. I will go to my test cases folder here and create a new test case. I will say this is time capsule demo. And then I will do a very quick recording. So I will go to this record web and you can use any of your existing test cases as well. So here we have a demo application URL. So let me just continue with this demo application. I will click on this browser that is Chrome browser and it has started the application. And now I will record my steps. So I will click on make appointment. And now I will say, add the credentials, username and password let me check if I add it okay this was wrong let me add again this is John Doe and the password is this is not a password and click on login and yes I am here so for now I will just end here I can do a right click on this make appointment and or maybe I can do a right click on this button, book appointment and say Catalon Studio and say verify element present. So this will verify that we are on this page and that's it. I will now stop the recording and save the script. And also these are the objects that got recorded. I will also save the objects. And you can now see all these steps are recorded here and the objects are recorded here. So these are all the objects and for the steps, uh, let me just delete these three steps where I added a uh, incorrect username and password. So I'll just delete them. And now let me run this. And before I run, I will make the self healing disabled. So it, this is already disabled. I hope you have seen the earlier session where self healing can actually heal your broken objects we do not want that because we, we want it to fail so that we can see the time capsule demo also i will go to the project settings and here in the execution i have decreased the timeout to five seconds so that it does not wait for a long time when there is a failure and i will now let me first just run it as it is so i will know that everything is recorded properly and it passes so it opens a Chrome browser and goes to the application, logs in and everything is fine. Everything is working. Okay. The test is passed. Now I will go to one of the objects. Let me go to this password object and it is using this ID, uh, the XPath with ID TXT password. This is what is being used to locate this password box or this object. Now I will make some changes. I will deliberately change this so it fails. I have done, I have added one, two, three here and save everything. So this should now fail. And now I will go back to my test case and run it again. And let us see what happens now. We will see the locks as well here. So it opens the browser and clicks on make appointment. It adds the username. 
and you can see it is having a difficulty in finding the password and it has now failed now if I go to the locks and check you can see this has failed and if you highlight this step you can see this option here a link which says click here to fix broken text object and this is the feature of time capsule I will now click here and here let me click again it says if you are in a test app please select the test case and click on this link again okay so I will select here select the test case and click the link and you can see what it does is this feature actually opens your object spy with that particular element or object highlighted and its object properties and it also opens your application on that particular page where the failure happened and this is the same state of the application where this failure happened so now I can check my object so you can see as of now this is the locator and this is what failed if I click on verify and highlight you can see it does not find any object with this particular locator so what I can do is I can highlight my password and here you can see it says to capture object you can press alt and twiddle key this at the top you can see this message as I highlight here I will do that I will press the key combination or I can click inside password and press the key combination and yes now you can see it has now updated the locator here and now if I say verify and highlight it is able to find one element with this locator so now this should work fine I will say save and ok and I can now close this window and if I now go back to my password object you can see it is also changed here if I now go back to my test case and run it so this time this should pass now if you are in a test suite or if you are running a test case from a test suite then you can still find this option in the logs and you can also see this option in the results of the test suite and here is a link I will also add all these links in the description of this video which shows all the details about this new feature that is time capsule so you can see here we have the time capsule feature so this is a new feature and I hope this will be useful I have seen some discussions on the uh, on the documentation some people are saying that because of this feature the execution has slowed down because it actually saves the mhtml of the web page so that it can bring up that particular web page when you uh, open the uh, open this feature or use the time capsule feature so this is something the team will be working on and uh, we will see if they, it actually slows down the execution you can also check at your location if that happens and you can give the feedback and I hope this will be useful thank you for watching